outside of the Chiefs being 4 0 and losing Rashid Rice due to injury, um, as well as the Minnesota Vikings pretty much shagging everybody and also being undefeated. Outside of that news, the latest news in the NFL that is a uh, hat that has everyone's attention is Devontae Adams. Uh, being on the trade trading block, uh, the Raiders announced uh, the, uh, Adam Scheffner reported that yo, we we open to listening to listen to a uh, potential trade offers for Devontae Adams. Uh, there was the comments last week by head coach Antonio Pierce uh, after they had lost. I forget who they lost to, but after they lost, you know, saying in the post game uh, press conference, he felt like guys made business decisions in terms of maybe electing not to play. <laughs> um, and so, uh, yeah. And then there was another post on social media today about Devontae Adams potentially being traded um, or being like, uh, yeah, possibly being traded. And apparently, uh, I think um, Antonio Pierce liked it, liked the post that, that said it was rumored that Devontae Adams was going to be traded or possibly get traded. Um, with all of that going on and surrounding the situation with the, uh, the no, the Las Vegas Raiders, not the Oakland Raiders, excuse me, the Las Vegas Raiders, uh, they just, where could you see a potential landing spot for Devontae Adams being right now? Um, in all biasness, I'm gonna say the Dallas Cowboys because we could definitely use him. And uh it's been seeming like we need him. Uh Jake Ferguson is back, so we'll see. Uh after playing the Giants, I don't think the Giants is a good test to see if the Cowboys' offense is um fluid yet. So, but you know, just if I had to take a, a good stab in the dark. I'm always wish my team good fortune. So, I mean, of, of course, there are many other teams who could use him and whose system he probably fit better in. Pause. But, um, yeah, that's all I can think about. I saw a post today on Twitter that was saying that we traded for Amari Cooper to get him when he was with the Raiders. And it had a picture of Devontae Adams with the Raiders right next to it. And the caption said, Cowboys, what y'all going to do? And I'm like, right, right. Well, are we just going to let Dak only have a tight end and a receiver, one number one receiver to throw to with no rushing attack and seemingly not being able to stop the run as well? We're not going to really give him weapons as well and try to win games? So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and, you know, I'm manifesting it right here today, right now. So I don't know, but I would like to see that, especially since Devontae Adams, to me, in my opinion, is still the best receiver in the league. I would love to see that. Do you, I think the only thing that you could argue that would get in the way of um, the Cowboys getting Devontae Adams is a Jerry Jones. So do you think Jerry Jones understands the magnitude of the opportunity that this that this could be for the Cowboys if he were to if he were able to pull off uh, essentially a win now type of trade being able to get Devontae Adams? Um right now no uh simply because Dak doesn't look like he is not doing well with the weapons he has in the event that Dak doesn't have enough weapons and it, it doesn't matter how good he is. If they're not catching the ball, if they're not getting open, if they're not causing separation, what else could he do? He can't run the routes for him. If it's starting to look like that, then I can see Jerry Jones flirting with the idea, but still not being smart enough to actually figure out how to get it done in a timely fashion to where we could actually win now, right? So with that being said, no, I don't think so. And I think if the trajectory is Dak's bad play and not Dallas's de bad defensive play, then yes, I can see Jerry Jones wanting to look into the market. But then in that moment, I would believe it would be too late. And that's what makes a good GM having foresight sometimes. So... You know, 
Yeah, that he he po he possibly was standing in the way of it, either not recognizing and realizing, or being too late when this when he does. What um, <clears throat> other potential landing spots that could possibly happen? <clears throat> uh, you have the New York Jets, Pittsburgh Steelers, Washington Commanders, Buffalo Buffalo Bills. Los Angeles Chargers, as well as the Ravens and the Chiefs, if not the Cowboys, where else do you think could be a potential? I think a uh, potential landing spot. Real quick, I think him going to the Chiefs would be like ridiculous, but I also don't feel like the Raiders are going to trade him inside the division. Um, right. And when you said Buffalo, I was thinking, mm, that, sounded, that sounded nice because you get Josh, Josh Allen another piece with the way he just, you know, find ways to make plays. I can see Buffalo being a credible threat deep in the postseason, especially with the defense. Right, they can't help that better offense will always be better defense, and that's how they got smacked up by the Ravens. But the rest of the league, I don't see as high powered as them as the Baltimore Ravens. So to where Buffalo could be scary at, at the right time. So him going to Buffalo does sound like it could be some. The Chiefs and the Ravens. That's just that's cheating, right? That's cheating. We would agree that that's cheating, right? But Buffalo is like, okay, yeah, Stephon Diggs leave, bring in another key guy, and get Josh Allen back to where he's usually where he's used to being. Uh yeah, uh my brother Black Peace uh, in the building joining us uh right now the conversation at hand, Black Peace, Devontae Adams request a trade. Um for you, where do you foresee a potential landing spot being for Devontae Adams? Um, I would say, oh, the Chiefs, hands down, absolutely, Chiefs. We I just mentioned that before, literally before you logged on, and my only, I guess, rebuttal to that is like, do you think the Raiders want him gone so bad to the fact they would trade him inside the division? Um, I don't think it's a want him gone. I think it's just a respect of right now. I think clubs need to be able to show that they can show some respect to players. And I feel like it's one of those moments of the Raiders need to show some kind of good rapport of business between players. And I feel like if you let Levante go, even though that'd be a hard, tough pill to swallow, I feel like it gives the opportunity for that organization to show like, hey, man, you can come over here. You know, you can play for us and we won't hold you over here hostage. And you can feel free to try the Raiders out without feeling like, OK, we're going to be stuck with you forever. So. I think that's an option of uh, even though it's inside a division, it just gives that little bit of like, hey, man, we care about your future rather than, um, you know, just just bringing you all the way down and letting you die with us. You know, um, I say but I, but I will say either Kansas City or. I could say back to Green Bay. But. I mean. I think that probably won't happen because I believe he favors Aaron Rodgers over any other quarterback 